guys, welcome to our Natural Academia. In today's video, we're gonna be washing my hair. All right, so you're probably wondering, well, if you're a returning subscriber, but if you're new, hello. Um, you're probably wondering, why am I sitting in a chair and not in the shower? It's because um, I've been like making hint or noting this for the past couple of weeks that I gave myself protein overload from using the Olaplex line, I guess too much, maybe, I don't know. But it gave me protein overload and honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be using it again, girl. I I don't think I'm gonna be using it. I kept the products because I have a thing with throwing products away because products are not cheap. Let me talk as I'm working because I have a tendency to talk too much. First thing that we're gonna be doing is doing aloe vera treatment. And then, oh, before that, girl, this is gonna be the most hydrating wash day video that you have ever seen in your life. Hopefully, it turns out right. But this is gonna be a very hydrating wash day routine. We are doing a lot of hydration today. I'm gonna to be doing an aloe vera treatment first, and I already made it and strained it and all that and put it in this little bottle. I have two of the little bottles because I have a lot of hair and I felt like I needed two. I used a total of three small leaves to make the two bottles. Then we're gonna be doing a hydrating mask. I found this at Target, didn't even know this existed. Um, I was just looking for new products to wash my hair with because I was not about to put those Olaplex products on my hair again. I needed something hydrating. So this is going to be my first time trying this and if I like it enough, I will buy the bigger bottle. The shampoo that I use when my hair needs some sort of hydration is the Camille Rose Cleansing Rinse. So I'm going to be using that to wash my hair. And then it came with a little dent on it when I bought it at the store. I don't know if you guys could tell, but there's a little dent on this product. But to condition my hair, I'm gonna be using the Triple Moisture Conditioner from TGIN. The Target near me is kind of, um, how do I say this nicely? Not the best. It's very trash. But recently they upgraded their TGIN products. They used to only have like three TGIN products, which was the Daily Moisturizer, some sort of um, hair mask, whatever. But they've increased the amount of products that they have from TGIN. And that's how I was able to grab these other two products because you guys know i use the daily moisturizer on my hair often so i when i thought when i saw these and i saw the word hydrating and moisture on them i was just like girl give it to me because i need all the moisture i can get right now because the way my hair feels is very coarse and I'm trying to revert that firstly i'm just going to section my hair and then i'm going to do the aloe vera treatment i don't know how long this video is going to be i'm gonna try to make it no more than like 25 minutes because I'm going to be doing a lot to my hair today. And on top of that, I got to moisturize it. I usually moisturize it on camera. Girl, I don't even know. But let me just section my hair first. All right, so I sectioned. Oh, I didn't even give you guys a back view of the hair when, I, when it was down. I don't think you guys cared to see the back of my hair, did you? I don't know. Let me just give you guys a back view now. So this is how it looks like. All in its little sections. There's a total of eight sections on my hair, four on each side, which is usually how I part my hair. So I just went in and found the parts and just <laughs> sectioned my hair that way. Hopefully this aloe vera works like it's supposed to work. I don't know, am I supposed to rinse my hair before I do it? I don't usually rinse my hair before I do aloe vera treatment. So we're not gonna start doing that today. And I'm just gonna uh, finger detangle my hair. Ooh. Not my finger sabotaging me. Where's my handy dandy fiber? Because my fingernails are really trying to sabotage me right now. I ain't got the time. I do not have the time. Hopefully by the end of this wash day, my hair will feel very hydrated and less overloaded with protein, but maybe it'll take more than one moisturizing treatment to help my hair get back to what it used to be. Let me zoom in so y'all can see better because I cannot get that close to this camera. All right, so here's my handy dandy aloe vera. I blended it yesterday and I strained it yesterday. Ooh, why is it so hard to open? But this is actually, believe it or not, my second time trying to make this aloe vera. Initially, I went to Walmart to go get some aloe vera and the aloe vera was so watery. I wasted my time and my hard earned $6 on Walmart. I had to go to Publix to go get new ones because the quality of the ones I got from Walmart just were not it. It was just way too watery for aloe vera. Like you see how thick this is? It was just, it was not giving the girls thick. It was giving watery, slim, and we don't like that. So I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. I 
dehydrated, it looks like, already. Like, what? Aloe vera is really a hidden gem because, wow, I love it. I love it like a love song, baby. I wish I knew how to dance. I feel like I would get so much more respect in society if I knew how to dance, but I don't. But anyways, y'all, it was so good. I'm debating on if I should just put this on while it's on there, but I don't want to mess up whatever chemistry goes on when the aloe vera is on the hair. I'm just going to twist this section right up. All right, so as I stated in the beginning of the video, my point in reasoning for wanting to do this aloe vera treatment was because I knew that it would help my hair to feel a lot more hydrated than it was previously. I knew that I gave myself protein overload a couple months ago because I started noticing small, subtle changes with my hair. I used to be able to re-moisturize my hair every three weeks. I used to be able to go that long without having to re-moisturize it, but I started realizing that my hair would dry out a lot faster. It would be more dry. It would be more brittle, it would be more stiff. So that's a telltale sign for me that I've gotten protein overload. And on top of all that, I started noticing that I was losing a lot more hair or my hair was shedding so much more than it normally does. So after a week of me re-moisturizing my hair, I would lose about a month's worth of hair. And that is just like not normal for me. My hair is very resilient, it's very strong, it's very thick. I have pretty high density hair. And for me to lose that much hair within a week span, it was just very abnormal. I'm almost positive that I've dealt with protein overload before in the past. I go through phases of all types of overloads with my hair because I'm not perfect. You know, sometimes I experiment and it just doesn't work out. Like for this particular experience, I tried the Olaplex and it just did not work out for me and it gave me protein overload. I probably should have done my own research on the line because turns out it's a protein treatment and I didn't look into it. But anyways, I've given myself other types of overloads in the past, like moisture overload. And depending on what types of overloads that I give myself, I usually always bounce back from them. And I'm very thankful to the good Lord above that I still have hair on top of my head, girl, because I, I don't even know how my hair has gone this long because I've gone through so much with it. But all that aside, for those of you that may or may not be going through similar experiences, if you do ever in the future go through protein overload, it's better to treat it right away than to wait a long period of time before you deal with it because the longer you wait, the more unnecessary hair that's gonna break off your head. All right, y'all, so I actually just finished one side. It didn't take me that long, probably like 30 minutes. Is that that long? I don't know. I spent a lot of time finger detangling my hair. That's probably what makes it take a lot of time. I don't really use combs on my hair because quite frankly, I just don't feel the need to. I don't like the way it makes my hair feel or my scalp. My hands do the job just as fine. Just takes a little bit longer. But this is how my hair is looking on the ends. And these are the twists. They feel very heavy. Like, I could smack somebody with this and they will fall to the ground. It feels very heavy. I don't know why. Probably because of all the products and then I add the aloe vera. Probably the weight of the products, maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to go off camera and do the other side of my hair and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So, I just finished doing the other side of my hair. And this is how it's looking. I didn't need as much aloe vera as I thought I did. So, we're just going to give it to Bay. I used one and about a half worth of aloe vera on my hair. So I could have just gone with like two, two aloe vera leaves, but because they were so small, I thought I needed more than two. Let me take my hair down for you guys. I'm gonna probably let it sit in my hair for like an hour. I know it's probably, it's been like an hour and a half of me doing this to my hair. This side has probably been on for like an hour already, but it's okay. Like today's video is hydration. Like we are worried about hydration, not time. I have things to do. I have like a class. Ooh, hold on. Cause why this looks so good? Why does this look so good? Well, I try to avoid putting it on my skin because it itches, but I did, I couldn't avoid putting it on my scalp. So I just put it on my scalp. It's probably not gonna do anything terrible. I, you know what? I don't even know. Because every time I think something's not gonna do anything terrible to me, it ends up doing it. But anyways, I'm gonna let this aloe vera sit in my hair. It's 2.18 PM right now. So, 
probably gonna let this sit in my hair till three and put my hair in a ponytail. So after I rinse this out of my hair, I'll put the miracle mask on my hair and leave it in, go to class, come back and then wash it out of my hair and do the shampoo conditioner routine and all that. And then I'll do my hair tonight, even though I have an assignment that I have to get done by eight in the morning tomorrow. I don't know how, like wash days for me, especially when I do treatments take me all day, but it's just hard finding time to record nowadays cause classes and I be having things to do on the weekend, but I look crazy. But yeah, that is the plan. So I shall be back in about 45 minutes to put the hydrating mask on. And probably gonna leave that in my hair for a couple hours. All right, you guys, so I actually went ahead off camera and rinsed the aloe vera out of my hair after about an hour. I said I was gonna wait 45 minutes, but I waited like an hour. It is currently 3.36. I literally just rinsed my hair, so it's probably still wet. I don't usually like putting a towel on my hair because I feel like it dries my hair out, but I'm about to do another treatment, so. Ooh, my hair feels so soft, guys. Oh my gosh. Look what this aloe vera did to my hair. Do y'all see, if only you guys could feel how soft my hair is. I'm kind of debating on if I even want to do the hydrating hair mask. I'm going to do it anyways just because I bought it to do it. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna make this video too long, but I feel like it's gonna be really, really long. Um, I have a class at six. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I have a class at six. It's currently 3.38. I'm probably gonna have to leave the mask sitting on my hair till after class and then I'm gonna wash my hair after I get from class. There's still a little bit of aloe vera in the hair, but it feels like really, really, really soft. It's not like cotton candy soft, but it's like plush soft, like a pillow soft. Okay, so this is a miracle mask. Don't really have much. I'm gonna try to use um, one on one side of my head and then the other one on the other side. It feels so good. It feels so good. Oh my gosh. Maybe I do need to start experimenting with products on my hair because have I been missing out? This stuff smells amazing. All right, y'all, so as you may or may not be able to tell, I'm really enjoying myself with this aloe vera treatment today in this video. Um, I haven't done an aloe vera treatment in so long, I forgot how nice it makes my hair feel. It's such a gentle and hydrating treatment, in my opinion. It gives the hair a lot of slip, a lot of elasticity, and it overall just makes your hair look a lot more healthier and shinier, and when you wash it off, so soft. As far as a hydrating mask, although I did like it, I feel like the aloe vera did so much for my hair that I didn't even have to use the mask, but I feel like in the future, if I ever want hydration, I will just go ahead and buy the mask if I don't feel like doing the aloe vera treatment. All right, y'all, so this is how my hair looks like with the Miracle Mask. It feels pretty soft, but I feel like, but I feel like it's tightening my hair, but I still really like the way it makes my hair feel. I usually don't like to experiment, but I think I don't like to experiment when people offer me products or when people suggest me products. I just have to go out there, read the labels myself, see what's inside the product, and make a decision. Oh, I didn't even show you guys my ends. This is how my ends are looking. Anyways, like I was saying, I just have to figure out what works for me instead of like trying to find suggestions from people. That's why a lot of times I don't like accepting a lot of sponsors. I don't usually do it. I get like a lot of messages, a lot of emails of people like, oh, can you try this product in one of your videos? Can you do this? Or we'll give you this product for free. I'm like, I'm not experimenting on my hair for you. I'm sorry, but like, no, I'm not experimenting on my hair, which is why I don't do a lot of sponsored videos. I know sponsors is where the check comes from, but I don't want to risk my hair for the sake of a check. I don't even think it's worth it. But this is this section. Oh my gosh. I did strain the aloe vera, but I may have not done it correctly because what, what are all those white particles? I hope I did it correctly. I used a cheesecloth this time. Usually every time I do uh, an aloe vera treatment, I always get flakes for like months.
All right, you guys, so I actually just finished putting the product on both sides of my hair and my camera died, so I went ahead and did it off camera. But this is how the ends look. And then this is how the other ends look. Do, 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 do. I feel like this Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Mask, it not only makes your hair softer, but it also gives a little bit of strength. So it doesn't make my hair feel as soft as the aloe vera. It actually restores a little bit of bond strength in there, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I'm not really a hair chemical scientist, so I don't really know what the word is for that. I am so sorry if you guys hear some noise in the background. It's my roommates acting like I don't live here and I don't be recording in this bathroom. They know what they're doing. I cannot wait to get out of this place. <laughs> there will be a day. When I move out this place, y'all, I'm gonna be celebrating. I'm gonna have a party. But that's besides the point. Um, this is just how my hair is looking. I have, it's 4.39 right now. Started doing this at 12. Like, doing this whole wash day thing. 4.39. Have a class at six. I'm about to go do an assignment before I go to class. <sighs> Why do I? Now, if I go out there and I'm like, hey, can y'all be quiet? I'm gonna look like the bad guy. Well, let me hurry up since they wanna be loud. I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail and then put it under a, the, the plastic cap and probably wear a hoodie or something to class. Um, that way nobody knows that I have a mask on my head. <laughs> this is just how it looks like from the back. Should I use the same aloe vera one? Oh, I'm not gonna lie guys, I think, <laughs> I just threw it on the floor. I think I may have strained my aloe vera wrong because why do I have flakes? I seen a few flakes on my towel or maybe it was just like products falling off my hair. We shall see it after this wash day routine. Um, I have never successfully done an aloe vera treatment where I didn't get any flakes. No matter how much I try to strain it, straining aloe vera is a scam from the natural hair community, I feel like. That's my conspiracy theory of the day. Because every time I do it, I always get flakes. It doesn't go away till like four months later. But if I get flakes, so be it. Next time you guys see me, I will be in the shower, getting ready to wash this off my hair or rinse it out of my hair. Then I'll wash it, condition it, and moisturize it. I don't even know if I wanna put the moisturizing part in this video because I just feel like it's already so long. And who watches 20 minute long, 30 minute long wash day routine? I don't know. If only you guys knew the amount of time it takes me to do these videos. It literally takes me 12, 14 hours to do this stuff. <laughs> but I'm trying to like condense all that into 30, 20 minutes. But anyways, let me go and live my best life and do my schoolwork before I have to go to class. All right, you guys, so I'm in the shower now. It's actually been several hours later, about like, about like seven hours later, and this miracle mask has been sitting in my hair since four o'clock, it's now 11 at night. I just had so much to do, school and cooking and all that good stuff, so that was that. Um, I let the cap sit in my hair while I was in class, and I just put on a hoodie. I don't really have many friends, don't really talk to many people, so nobody was like, oh, why are you wearing a hoodie in this hot class? So nobody asked any questions. Um, I'm gonna take a braid out for you guys, but let me just show you guys how I had it. It was just in this little ponytail. I'm probably gonna end up kind of rushing through the wash day process because, or the shampoo and conditioner process because it's very late and I plan on doing my hair and it's going to take a couple hours and I have another class tomorrow morning at 11 and I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> but let me take a braid off for you guys. My scalp doesn't feel tender or the um, Miracle Mask had like an adverse effect to it. So it doesn't feel terrible, but it does say on the label to only leave it on for like 30 minutes to an hour. I left it on my hair for a whopping seven hours, but I will say my hair feels extremely, extremely, extremely hydrated. I will say that. It's very soft, it's very bouncy, it's very hydrated. I think, um, now that I think of it, I may have accidentally, I don't know what went wrong. Every time I do an aloe vera treatment, I always get flakes. I've never done an aloe vera treatment correctly since I've been doing aloe vera treatments. And ever since I've been doing them, I've been getting flakes. So there's a slight chance that I may have flakes in my hair if you guys see it. 
a little bit later. Just know that I tried my best. I strained it and everything with the cheesecloth. I just probably didn't do a good job. Oh, so yeah, this is just how the hair is looking. It's extremely, extremely hydrated. Will I buy this again? If I ever go through another protein overload and I really need my hair to feel hydrated, probably. I'll buy the Miracle Mask again. But I don't think for my day-to-day -day regimen, I need absolutely need it. So probably not gonna get it until I absolutely feel the need for it. Um, I just like to be very simple when it comes to my hair care routines. I don't like having so many steps because I can't stand my roommates. Anyways, I don't like having so many products because it's kind of overwhelming. So I try to buy things when I need it and use up as much as I have. Although I do have those Olaplex products that I do not know what I'm gonna do with, but maybe one day I'll find a use for them. I'm just gonna rinse the Miracle Mask out of my hair. I'm gonna wash my hair with the Sweet Ginger Rinse. Oop. It fail. And conditioning my hair with the triple moisture conditioner from TGIN and on, and this will be my first time trying this conditioner as well but I have tried this before in the past and it is very hydrating so I thought it'd be a good fit for this video and it smells like ginger all right y'all so I started off by rinsing the hydrating mask out of my hair and as I stated a little bit earlier on in the video um, when I applied the hydrating mask on my hair I did start to notice that it made my hair a little bit less elastic. I think that's the perfect word for it. It didn't make my hair feel coarse or anything. My hair still felt very soft, but it just wasn't as elastic as it was after the aloe vera was rinsed out of my hair. So that's one thing that I noticed. And another thing, after rinsing it out, it did leave my hair looking very tightly coiled. In regards to hydration, I really do feel like this hair mask did what it was supposed to do in that department. It left my hair feeling very hydrated. I didn't feel like my hair was stripped or coarse or rough or brittle or dry or anything at the end. I feel like this mask was the cherry on top of this hydrating wash day routine that I decided to do. Definitely plan on using it again in the future. I might not use it all the time. You might not see it. All the time in my wash day videos but i will use it from time to time whenever i feel that i need it but those are just some of my observations that i noticed on my hair all right so next up is the washing portion of this hydrating wash day routine and i'm using the sweet ginger rinse or sweet ginger cleansing rinse to wash my hair today it comes with a little cap on the top that you're supposed to actually push the cleansing rinse out of to get it on your hand. But personally for me, I find the cleansing rinse to be extremely thick and it can't really go through the little cap. So I just unscrew it and then just drop it all in my hand at once. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, back to the cleansing rinse. This is actually one of my favorite shampoos of all time. I don't know if it'd be considered a shampoo or just simply a cleansing rinse, but it operates like a shampoo in my opinion so that's why i use it it's extremely hydrating for my hair like look at how nice my hair looks it's extremely hydrating it does not strip my hair at all this is the first cleansing rinse or shampoo that i have been able to find that doesn't over clean my hair if you know what i mean like it does not give that squeaky clean feeling Actually, a couple months ago, I was going through a phase of not knowing what type of shampoo to use on my hair. And my boyfriend uses this particular cleansing rinse on his hair because he doesn't like shampoo with sulfates. So this works well on his hair. Because his hair chemistry is different from mine, I never really thought to use this cleansing rinse on my hair. I just didn't think that it would work for me because my hair is very thick. And I go months without washing my hair. I apply a lot of products on my hair. So I, I'll use sulfate shampoos a lot of the times to clean my hair because I need deep cleans. But this shampoo does an amazing job at cleaning your hair or my hair regardless. It's kind of pricey. It's like $10, which is very expensive for shampoo, if I do say so myself. But you don't need that much to make it sudsy. It's a very gentle yet effective cleansing rinse. It leaves your hair extremely hydrated at the end. And well, I can only speak for myself when I say these things, but I absolutely love the way this thing makes my hair feel. All right, guys. So I went head off camera and shampooed this side or rinse cleansing rinse use the cleansing rinse on this side of my hair I don't know why I can't talk now I'm about to use this 
moisturizing conditioner from TGIN. I'm excited to use this, never used it before in my life. Um, didn't even know it existed until like a week ago. I don't know what it smells like. My sense of smell is off. I cannot tell. I don't know if it doesn't smell like anything or maybe, I don't know. I can't smell anything right now. My nose is starting to get clogged because I've been in the shower for a minute. Um, usually I let the conditioner sit in my hair for a little bit. I think I'm just gonna go throughout all my head with the conditioner and then I will just rinse it out right away. I don't really care to let the conditioner sit in my hair for too long because I've already done like the aloe vera treatment and the hair mask treatment thing. And my hair feels super, super, super duper rehydrated. This is how my hair is looking like, by the way, after um, rinsing out the shampoo and stuff. It feels extremely fluffy. My scalp feels a little bit hot though. I don't know, is that concerning? All right, so here are the ends. I don't even know how much to apply. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what this smells like. It smells green, like leaves. I don't know. But it's very light, a very light whipped butter. Mm, I don't know if I like this. It feels weird. It's making my hair feel like sandpaper. Or maybe it's just because my hands have so many like little ridge bumps because I've been in the shower for so long, but I feel like it just stripped all the softness away. Let's see if like maybe if I let it sit in my hair, if that'll change something because with the shampoo, the longer you let it sit on your hair, the softer your hair becomes. Well, from my experience at least. So maybe this has a similar effect. All right, so this is how it's making my hair look. All right, so here I am again, uh, voiceover Natural Academia. And I just wanted to explain to you guys really quickly how this conditioner made my hair feel while I was putting it on. Um, as I stated previously, it did make my hair feel like sandpaper as I was applying it. But I did come to realize that this is the type of conditioner that you would want your hair to be pretty much soaking wet before you apply it because the top section of my hair was pretty dry and it, it applied a very sandpaper-ishly, if that makes any sense. But the more wetter parts of my hair, it applied much more smoother and it gave me a lot more slip in those sections. Another thing about this moisturizing conditioner that I noticed, which I kind of, uh, I guess I kind of already knew was going to happen is the more you leave it in your hair, the softer your hair will become in the end. That's usually how it is for a lot of um, products nowadays. But because I was so tired guys, I only let the conditioner sit in my hair for probably like five minutes tops. And it was probably a less amount of time because I only let the conditioner sit in my hair for as long as it took for me to put the conditioner all throughout my hair. And even though I didn't let the conditioner sit in my hair for that long, it still felt pretty good after rinsing it out, surprisingly. I was surprised at the moment how hydrated my hair still felt because I was in a rush because I was so tired, but it still felt pretty good. I'm sure if I left it in my hair for 10, 20 more minutes, it would have felt even better. But the results that I got after rinsing the conditioner out of my hair, I was pretty satisfied with. This will probably be a future staple in my hair care routine because I actually really do like the way it makes my hair feel and look. Like look how hydrated and bouncy and just defined my hair looks right now. It looks amazing. This is the softest my hair has ever felt, ever in my life. I feel like this is so soft. Sorry for all the fog by the way guys, but no, 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 no. I just had to come on camera really quick. I'm probably not gonna moisturize my hair tonight because it's, it's probably like one o'clock right now and I have class tomorrow. I just, I, I'm not gonna stay out to do my hair when I have things to do in the morning. Sorry for the water running in the back, but I haven't really finished rinsing out my hair, but really quickly, I probably do my hair tomorrow. After I come from class, um, I'm gonna just let these sit in my hair tonight and, and call it a night, honestly, because I've been, I feel like I've been doing my hair all day. I started doing this at 12 and it's now one. Granted, I did have class to go to. I did have to cook and all that stuff, but that is that. I'm just astonished by how soft my hair is right now. I can't even, I don't even know what to say. Wow, 10 out of 10 recommend.